Welcome back. Now, the Kenya Airports Authority is set to kick off talks on a Kenya Airways' plan to manage operations at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Well, this restructuring part of efforts to help the airline's recovery and boost its dwindling revenues. However, documents detailing the proposal obtained by Citizen TV reveal that KAA plans to make all JKIA employees redundant at the onset before giving the employees fresh contracts of employment. Faisal Ahmed has more on this story. Kenya Airports Authority on Wednesday launched a public participation drive on the proposal by Kenya Airways to be allowed to privately run JKIA. This evaluation is structured in line with the requirements, steps and the milestones of the PPP Act that I refer to. In the proposal, Kenya Airways has issued KAA with three options in regards to how they would treat JKI staff. The first option is that they would second all the current JKI staff to a special purpose vehicle on the same terms for a period of 12 months. After the secondment period, KQ will transfer employees to the SPV with the right to choose employees who receive the transfer proposal. The second option states that those that wish to be retained after the secondment would have to be transferred to the SPV by way of agreement between the SPV, KAA and their staff. The transfer process would require willing employees to confirm possible reduction in benefits that they enjoy as civil servants, in particular pension benefits. And the final option states that KAA would make all JKIA staff redundant at the onset. The SPV would then have an option of recruiting all the former KAA employees and a fresh contracts of employment with the SPV. KAA in the document also stated that all the options will be pushed for public participation, which is set to start in Kisumu on the 30th of January. Questions have been raised by Kenyans on social media regarding the capability of Kenya Airways running the biggest airport in the country, given the fact that they have been reporting losses for the last three years. Kenya Airways seeks to borrow a leaf from the Ethiopian Airlines that operates Bole International Airport with the approval of the government. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV.